Yes, guys, it is happening again. It happened the last time over two years ago. And right now it's happening again. I'm going to show you in a moment what I'm exactly talking about. And also we're going to have a look here at my trade that is wrecking in profits over profits i gave you the trade two days ago you could have caught it with me i hope you did so but now let's get directly into today's content and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates so and as you can see here my trade is right now roughly 300 dollars in profit i take profit at 27,400 dollars and i'm going to show you in a second again why that level is so significant for us and don't forget guys if you want to trade on bybit then go here into the description of the video you still get 30,000 dollars if you sign up with that specific link here um, only with that link you will be able to claim that bonus or uh, if you don't know yet how to trade then you should definitely sign up for my course and my mentorship program under amcrypto.us so and now here when we are looking at the bitcoin chart first of all what i want to point out is that uh, we still have that bullish divergence here on the four hourly chart and the bitcoin price is testing the downward sloping resistance line of that uh, bullish divergence. Once we are breaking it, we can confirm that this bullish divergence is playing out and that Bitcoin will be heading in direction of $28,900 approximately, potentially even $30,000. So, and that is the m point where Bitcoin is at right now. It is a really, really crucial moment for Bitcoin because if you break higher, there are so many things happening at the same time. It's unbelievable and i'm going to show you most of them here right now so for the bullish divergence to be playing out like i said we need first to break this downward sloping trend line with all these um, lower highs along that line that we have created but it looks good in my opinion that we're going to break this today and also the rsi has to get higher than this high point here once that is happening we know the bearish uh, the bullish divergence has played out with a potential target here of $28,860. So when we are going uh, to the other blocks here, uh, nothing really has majorly changed besides that the price is right now in that range here uh, of $27,160 all the way up to $27,500. And if we clear that range, the next stop would be $27,700, but there's only a little bit uh, of orders so that might be even spoofed and will be removed but the next layer is around $28,000 so that is the level that I'm looking at if I see $27,200 uh, confirmed as support and we stay above that I gonna change my tech profit point as we go higher I gonna set my stop loss at some point then at $27,000 and if we are close to 28 it will be $27,500 so in that sense if the price reverses I get still my take profit point that I had initially set um, and cannot lose anymore and on the other hand if it goes higher and it goes to $29,000 $30,000 then I make even more profit so that's uh, how I gonna play with my trade that I have here right now so now when we're looking here at this Bitcoin chart at the liquidation levels also here here you see I had given you the perfect trade setup because I told you that price action most likely and the market makers go all the way up here to liquidate everybody that is over leveraged with 50 and 100x uh, shorts and that is exactly what's happening. There's still a little bit left here all the way up to $27,500. That's why I believe we will at least reach $27,400 for my tech profit point. Uh, there is a chance that we reverse from there back down to now liquidate all the underlying longs here. So there are 100x longs. Let me actually get this here over. That could be unfolding here right now. So, But we are really close to the tech profit point. And like I said, I just going to reevaluate once we are getting a little bit closer. If I keep that one or if I actually raise it and just uh, put in then a stop loss. Also on the VPBR, we can clearly see. Uh, if we clear that range that we are in right now, there is a huge gap in the volume profile, a huge void all the way up to $29,000. So that's another confluence why I believe that we could snap here really quick into higher levels um, once we are above $27,500. Here again also on the daily chart, you can clearly see that uh, the Bitcoin price has find acceptance 
right now in that range that started at $26,800 and is uh, at the top at $29,000 approximately. So also here we had a nice bull flag playing out. If you look at this like this, then you can see that we have here a bull flag that broke now to the upside. Oh, come on. And the bull flag target is, I cannot make this up, it's $29,080 approximately. So that is the technical target and we are on the way right now. Would I go long now? No, I would not. If you're not in a long, don't do it unless we are uh, with a one hour or four hourly candle close. $27,500. Also here on the daily chart with the MDX algo indicator that I'm using, you can see price action had cooled down a little bit with that a purple candle here and is now gearing up to run hot again. So just that, that you see that here, I want to show it to you. You see it goes like from a cold phase where it's green into a blue one where it's slowly uh, warming up. Then it goes into a purple one. Then it starts to be softly red and then it becomes really red. And then it uh, does the same thing just the other way around to cool off again. So and then, then it runs again. So now we are in a running phase. And that's why here on the daily chart, now that we have broken this crucial downward sloping trend line, uh, I see here potential that we are definitely going to these highs here of potentially $30,000 uh, in October, because you should also forget we are in October uh, right now. And every time, um, so it was, I think, only one time uh, when we had another good September the October was phenomenal uh, when it comes to the gains that were made in October. So everything is looking really bullish right now here for Bitcoin. I don't see any major reason why we should go back, let's say, to sub $26,000. I just don't see it right now unless there would be some crazy news coming out, but it's not happening. And guys, something else that I want to point out. I re remember I told you about a new Discord server. The Discord will be online tonight. I'm going to um, post a link that you need to sign up for the Discord. So you can only join the Discord if you have at least $250 either on BitGet or on a Bybit in your account. And me and my account manager at Bybit, we're going to check if you actually have um, that in your account. So what I want you to do is if you want to be part of the discord, I can tell you this discord is crazy. I'm trading there every single day. I post all my uh, trades that I'm doing there before I take then before I take the trades and also after uh, to show you the result out of the trades. I post everything in this discord. I give you all my uh, coins that uh, that I'm buying for the next bull run that will potentially make multi-millionaires. So I'm betting really heavy on these coins that I have found. And um, along the road, as we go into the bull market, I will add more and more coins that are just popping um, out of nowhere uh, to my portfolio. So and if you want to make here serious money with me together, you have to be part of this Discord. You, we are uh, sharing char uh, charts there. We we do everything. Uh, you cannot imagine how, what uh, what we are doing in this Discord. So you definitely want to be part of that. The only thing that you have to do is complete that small form where you send me your email address and your Bybit number or your BitGet uh, UID so that I know that you have signed up there with my link. And then I, uh, we're going to send you the uh, Discord invitation link. Uh, and it is a unique link. Only you can use that one. So now let's move on here. So one of the reasons uh, why I'm so bullish here on Bitcoin right now is that uh, we have here all these Bitcoin spot ETFs that are um, coming next year. So you see here um, ARK21 shares Bitcoin ETF. The final deadline is the 10th of January. Uh, next year and all other ETFs were actually also postponed for a decision um, until that date after uh, Gary Gensler was asked uh, or demanded by a letter of Congress to approve right now a Bitcoin spot ETF and he just um, yeah declined by delaying all the spot ETFs. So and what I wanted to show you what's happening here Again, what happened the last time, re a really long time ago, so it was three years ago that it happened the last time, that we had a peace cycle bottom with a followed parabola, and then we had here 
this downward sloping trend line. And before we broke that trend line, we had here this area of accumulation. And once we broke out of that area, Bitcoin saw a small run to the upside, running into resistance around $10,500. And because that was such a crucial resistance from the past, so you can see here in summer 2020, when we were running up to 14K, we uh, came straight back under the $10,000 level, saw um, a lower high, and then confirmed this level as resistance. And then multiple times we had tried to break above that level and failed every single time. And after we left the accumulation phase here and we got this run, we failed again and came back to this downward sloping uh, trend line that we are seeing here. And from there we got then a heavy bounce. And only then at the second attempt, we were able to break that. So, and we see something similar playing out right now. So when you go over and when we go over here, you see this looks quite similar. So we got here our P cycle bottom, we got here the parabola, we have here this downward sloping trend line, we have here the accumulation zone with that downward sloping resistance line. And now I'm going to show you something. So you see the price action is leaving this accumulation box where it was basically gearing up for a break out of um, that downward sloping resistance line. So most likely what we're going to see is a move close to $32,000 because that is now the next heavy resistance line that Bitcoin is facing as Bitcoin did in summer uh, 2020 because we have the same kind of structure. So we have here the confirmation that this level is resistance. Here we got it again a couple of weeks ago. So I think a third touch is overdue so, and that could be the run that we are waiting for. Potentially even a little bit higher, I would say. And then we come back down with a heavy rejection back to the trend line. So if, if that scenario would be correct, it would be around 20K. I'm not so sure about that. So maybe I have to move the, this trend line a little bit higher. But let's say it, it's 22. I can imagine 22 just to shake everybody out in the final days before uh, the next major run. And from there onwards, we came up, tested it again, a little bit correction, and then we broke it. So that is uh, what I'm looking at right now. And it really looks like it that we're going to get that kind of scenario because we are breaking here uh, above this downward sloping resistance line. So in the last time that we broke above that, Bitcoin was running 23%. Uh, so I'm not expecting Bitcoin to run here 23%. But uh, if we would, if we would, then it would put Bitcoin around $33,500. And you see here, we are not far away. So it's 17% to get to roughly $32,000 from where we are at right now. So and I just want to emphasize again how similar that looks. So look, look here again. So we had here this big move to the upside. And then we started trending lower. So now if I take this with the all-time high, so you see we have more or less the same thing. Here you see why that $10,000 level is uh, so crucial in 2020 and why the $32,000 level is so crucial this year. So that, that's why I believe we're going to see a retest in the next coming weeks in up, October for it getting rejected and then we finally start running into the halving. Also here on the BL, BLX chart, when we're looking when we are looking at where we are uh, right now in the cycle. So here you see in the grand scheme of things, we are still in accumulation before we are going into the bull run. So and if I'm correct here, uh, then around beginning of November, we should get into that zone. So that means what's most likely is going to happen is that we are breaking out of that range of the accumulation zone. We get into the bull run zone, but we get uh, to the bottom of it and then we start running. And when you look at it, 
here in the in the past bull run, it was more or less the same thing. So these are now weekly candles. So on, on a daily base, we can still go one time lower to shake everybody out. And that's what I'm expecting. And also here in 2016, 17, uh, we also saw this. So when when we're looking at the markets uh, on the on a on a on a macro level then we can be definitely super super bullish right now especially if bitcoin is able to go in direction of $30,000 potentially $32,000 gets rejected from the trend line and um, hits then one final low turns around and moves up that is what i would like to see because then i know exactly that this fractal from three years ago is playing out and that we can rely on that and we have uh, really happy days ahead of us uh, guys don't forget uh, if you want more of this content please subscribe like this video and also uh, don't forget to activate the bell that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you then again tomorrow.